Okay, so this next one, I'm going to first get rid of the bottom left. And I'm going to do row 2 minus row 3. 0, 0, and then what? Did I do that right? Yeah. Uh, negative 3 and what? Negative 3. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I have a mistake. Sorry. This is a one, right? Yeah. Okay. So now what? It's one. It's a positive y. Yeah, but one minus two is negative one. Oh. Yeah. Oh, that. I thought you were talking about that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So now I have this, correct? Next, next, I want to get rid of this one. So what am I going to do there? I'm going to do row 1 minus 2 times row 2. 0, 1. Row 1 minus 2 times row 2 is 3. And then negative 9. Row one. Two, 1 minus 2, row 2. The last one will remain unchanged. Next. Next, I want to get rid of this one. So I'm just going to add row 2 plus row 3. I'm going to get 0, 0, 0, negative 6. And that's a problem. Because, okay, on top I have, you know, 0, 1, 3, negative 9, 2, 3, negative 1, 1. But what do I get here? I get that 0 equals negative 6. And when is 0 equal to negative 6? Never. So this is no solution. Do you see how you get no solution? Could we have known from here? We kind of could have known from here. Because if I divide that last second to last step by negative 1, in the blue I have 1, 3, negative 9. In the red I have 1, 3, 3. So x plus 3y equals 9 on one hand or negative 3 on the other hand. And from there I could have known already. Okay? Okay. Let's do one last one. Huh? Let's do one last one. This is 1, negative 1, 1, 3, negative 1, 2, negative 1, 2, 2, negative 3, 3, 8. Okay? So, first, I want to get rid of the bottom here. So I'm going to do 2, row 2, plus row 3. So, Negative 2 plus 2 is 0. 2 times 4 plus negative 3 is 1. Negative 2 plus 3 is how much here? 1. And then 4 plus 8, 12. Then I'm going to get rid of this one. Hey, I can just add row 1 and row 2. So I get 0, 1, 0, 5. Next, what else am I going to do? I'm going to get rid of this one, right? So you know what I'm going to do? Row 2 minus row 3. So I'm going to get 0, 
0, negative 1, negative 7. So finally, I just need to get rid of the negatives there to put it in row echelon form. 1, negative 1, 1, 3, 0, 1, 0, 5, 0, 0, 1, 7. So, I'm done. So, oh, we got to go. So, Z is 7. What do I get from here? Y is 5. And then when you do the rest, X is 1. So, it's 7, no, 1, 5, 7. And we're over. Okay, so homework will be due tomorrow. Do you want us to do both assignments?